I'm Julian Shepherd. I'm the project director for Bureau Airport Engineering, and we're delighted to be working on the Manchester Airport Transformation Project. It is the largest aviation project in the country. The project is a terminal extension at Manchester Airport Terminal 2. It more than doubles the existing terminal. Um, there's also a need for a, a near 4,000 space car park, um, an elevated highway forecourt, um, baggage halls, uh, piers and gates, uh, and also miles of below ground utilities and services that feed the buildings. We're working with Langer Rock on this project, and Langer Rock are very um, interested in efficiency of the design and construction process, and uh, very interested in BIM, and want us to work with them in terms of sharing models. And so we've been doing that for a number of years now, and this project is really a development of that relationship. And what we like to do is to produce every nut and bolt in the BIM model and share it with Langer Rock. They add their nuts and bolts, if you like, and share the model back with us. And it is an iterative process. And in effect, what we're doing is constructing the building in the virtual world and making sure that everything fits together before it's fabricated and before it's constructed. So when we get to site, everything goes together well. The extension to Terminal 2 is it's a very large and complicated structure. It contains over 6,500 different structural elements. Um, now, to be able to design all those elements, we needed to be able to extract uh, outputs from a number of different analysis models that uh, analyzed different types of loading upon the structure. Um, and the main problem became how we combine all those different sets of results into one coherent set of information that we could then use to, to investigate the forces throughout the structure and to actually design all the steelwork elements. Um, Given that this process would involve processing a huge amount of data, we're talking over 11 million individual results, um, and these have been repeated numerous times throughout the project as the design evolved, we realised that the only way we could realistically achieve that um, was to write computer programmes, and in, in this case we used the Grasshopper visual programming software. Um, the scripts that we, that we wrote in the end probably turned what would have been otherwise a, a a one to two day procedure if we try to do it manually into something that took one to two hours. Um, so that allowed us to, to respond quite quickly as the design continued to evolve throughout the project and it allowed us to meet the very challenging uh, delivery programme. As well as post-processing assisting the piling designers, it also assisted HAIRS in their production of steelwork and their early leading in, in, in steelwork. So the three models running in parallel allows us to fix the primary structure at a very early, early stage. Not only fix the primary structure, but also understand the magnitude of the forces that were taken through the connections. And in doing so, it allowed them to put early orders in and start to early works design on some quite complicated connections. From being instructed in June, 2017 they were on site with the first package of steel in January 2017 so from instruction to delivery of fabricated material on site less than six months uh, which is pretty unprecedented in my opinion to start to be able to deliver that volume of steel work within such a uh, constrained period. Projects benefited from Brewer Hapold's um, problem-solving capabilities, um, mainly through the fact that there's, with like most major projects, the scope has evolved as we've kind of gone through the journey, and so to have that capability to tackle the, the kind of evolving issues and, and technical challenges we've faced has been uh, very beneficial to us. I think the key challenges have definitely been the program, uh, you know, the very tight program which we all knew that when we bought into the contract, um, huge scale. Uh, the quick start from a, pro, from a program design delivery point of view particularly. I think fantastic achievement was to get the uh, steel erection date bang on program, which is a massive, massive effort by all concerned. Um, so I'd say that's probably one of the, you know, the big challenges that we've had on the terminal building. And it's not just about designing facilities, it's about uh, working with the Manchester Airport's clients and being looking for solutions, finding the right answers to the problems that are posed and working in a really dynamic way that delivers what we think is a great product at the end. Once complete, Terminal 2 will become the main hub of Manchester Airport and we'll have about 7,500 passengers departing in our peak hour at that time. 
I mean, our vision for this uh, airport and for Terminal 2 is that we're providing really good modern facilities, great space for them to occupy on their journey, um, efficient processes, the latest technology, and really we're trying to get a wow factor in the departure lounge so that people can enjoy that experience, enjoy the restaurants and the shops, and really enjoy their journey. It's so satisfying seeing uh, the building go up in real life, um, knowing that you've been working on it on the computer for three, three and a half years, um, and to see it successfully implemented on site, um, whether it's precast concrete or a prefabricated steel element, um, it's just been brilliant. And uh, to know that we've done that and achieved the client's vision at the same time is amazing.